Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Video Truder, and welcome back to Total War Three Kingdoms, where, inevitably, we are back at war with Yan Shao, except this time it's even more flipping dangerous. Because now Yan Shao kind of controls the entire bloody world, so uh, yeah, we need to figure out exactly how we're going to be dealing with that. I've no bloody clue how this guy was able to vassalize this guy, but he's just got magic vassalizing powers. So uh, we need to figure out what's going on here. And yeah, this doesn't look great, does it? There's a lot of red on the map, like literally everywhere. But I do have some good advantages here. One, my good friend Yan Shu is actually doing a good job taking some territory back. So, momentarily, yeah, Yan Shao should lose a bit of territory and Yan Shu will get some of it back. There might be a bit of a raise for Luo Yang, though, because yes, indeed, I just straight up got one of my spies commanding one of Yan Shao's armies to flip sides to me. I'm not sure whether that's going to be enough to take the town by itself, but... It might be. I might just have him run north to see if we can actually take Luo Yang before Yan Shu's ready to do the same. Because then I could sell it to Yan Shu for a huge amount of flipping money. Still, the bigger problems right now are, yes indeed, Yan Shao's heartland and Sun Zhan to the south. But, I've got a plan for both of them actually. Though for the time being, yeah, we just need to focus on moving Kongrong south. We need to knock Tao Ying out of the fight entirely then swing south, get my trade port back, and deal with Liu Yao as well. Basically, yes, yeah, small factions who are siding with my enemies need to just be eliminated and absorbed. That's step one before we start putting together a major action plan against my major foes. Ah, yes, and Yan Shu needs new orders for what I'd like him to focus on, because uh, for the time being, he's not at war with Cao Cao. Cao Cao's actually back to being independent, for the moment at least, though probably Cao Cao will momentarily throw his lot in with Yan Shao. But yeah, if you guys would like to try and assassinate Yan Shao's primary army, that'd be great. Yan Shao's in a bit of trouble right now, alright? He had armies all over the shop, one of them's just flipped to me, others are still small and growing and I don't have eyes on, Yan Shao's main army, if Yan Shu could kill it, that'd be great. Alright, time to see if Liu Bei's willing to follow orders and take out these two small armies for me to save me the trouble. And also time to see whether, yeah, Cao Cao's going to immediately attack me. Because honestly, the best thing that can happen now is he comes and attacks somewhere with his main army. Because uh, I'm going to struggle to beat that army because, yeah, his champion has got himself a terrifying mega hammer. So, uh... Bit of a stalemate with Sao Sao for the time being, rather annoyingly. Let's just see what we got going on here. Come on, Liu Bei. What are you doing? And... Right, good! He went and did his job. He just murdered the Yellow Turban Rebellion. Yan Shao is... Uh, ah, Yan Shao is just hiding inside that town. And what happened to... Hang on. What happened to Yan Shu's army who was taking out the lumber yard? I'm not 100% sure there. And yeah, they're falling back to the fishing port. But... That place is not going to be properly walled, and yes, indeed, understandably, Cao Cao has basically been told to join the war, so he's straight back in again. Ah, but on this occasion, actually, he's straight back in against the Han Empire. Alright, fine. So, Dong Min as well, absolutely, and uh, yeah, Cao Mao is now going up against Gonsun Du, far, far, far to the west, doesn't really affect me. Fine, no major changes, but apparently I found something. A stone statue of Confucius. Not bad, actually. That's actually pretty darn good. That's got bronze around it. Yeah, morale for melee cavalry. You know what? Who's going into the most trouble right now? Because, yeah, you guys are just waiting up there, not doing anything for the time being. But Kong Rong, you, yeah, here we go. This guy right here. Ah, yeah, now this will do. This will do the job very, very nicely indeed. Yeah, instinct up to a very impressive 110, together with bonus for your melee cav. Love it. Except, hang on, melee cavalry, is that actually distinct from... Oh, does that not actually include these guys? Hang on a second. I think they count. I think it just means, yeah, horse archers aren't allowed to count. So, hopefully, that's a good thing. In either case, it's more instinct for him, so it's good anyway. Right, we're moving straight on anyway. Chase down that army if we can. Come on, we're on our way, please. There we go. We can't quite get on top of this guy, unfortunately. Though, then again... I could order Liu Bei to come and do this for me. That would actually be possible. He's got this army right here that's not doing anything right now. 
Could order him down. And by the way, yeah, more importantly, this place has not yet been attacked. So you, get in the farm. Have fun with that business. Still, this here is a strong army. We should be able to do a good job here. And by the way, can you actually make it to... No, you can't make it over there next turn, but only because you're going through the forest. If we can kill this guy, you might actually be able to, yeah, make it all the way to the fishing port immediately. Would I like to actually put him into march mode, uh, just to make sure... No, you made it this far this turn. I think you should be able to make it there next turn, hopefully. I might regret that, though. And yeah, however that happened, unfortunately, the lumber yard was able to stand against Yan Shu. Possibly it... Yeah, I assume they beat them in a battle, but very handily, if so, where did the army go? I don't know, is it you guys? Did you just... Yeah, it's you guys. Right, so you just had your asses handed to you, got it. So we've got Yin Li down here, our spy who's brought an army with him. But yeah, bear in mind, he's actually pretty damn good, all things considered. I mean, depending on how we're feeling about Yan Shao, this army is... not spectacular, really. It's not really great at all. Can we actually see much in the way of details about these guys? Any special weapons? No, good armour on this guy. Basic weaponry, however, nothing major there at all. Basic mounts, you yourself have got an okay but not brilliant sword. Really good armour, mine. That's some really nice armour right there. And a special brown stallion too, but not spectacular. This army's not exactly brilliant. I might be able to take it on directly. Because, yeah, bear in mind, uh, the actual town being only a level 3, uh, that's not really going to have much in the way of a garrison, barely anything at all. I've got my army right here. I mean, is my army superior? This is the army of Mi Heng, of course, so it's less experienced than some of our forces. And the nice thing is, yeah, this woman over here in Hene can't actually cross the river immediately. There's not a crossing nearby, so uh, these two armies aren't actually that close together. But I've got a plan, actually. I'd say a very, very good plan indeed, which is... Uh, can I actually make it to... Uh, no, I can't quite make it to Bohai this turn, because... Uh, yeah, bear in mind, uh, there's these two isolated cities up here, belonging to Yan Shao. Right now, as far as I'm aware, completely unguarded. Now they, they are of interest to me, because they're cities, suggesting they're probably going to be making at least a little bit of money, and... Uh, I've got a plan for them... Let's just start moving these troops in the right direction anyway, and can we actually make it to- Oh! Okay, there's actually a massive army right there. Well, I'm glad I know about that. That's actually, you know, kind of important. It's actually very experienced. This might actually be one of the most experienced armies they've got. Yeah, okay. So, do I want to actually fall back at this point? Might be a good idea that... Well, we could take them. We could probably take them anyway. These guys, I can't see whether they've got special weapons or anything. Right. The thing is, yeah, I was planning to mop up these two cities, but that's not looking like it's going to be an option. Right, guys, uh, fall back at speed, please. Just, yeah, force march back into the province capital just so we know what's going on here. Right. So now we know there's a big force up there waiting to swing down if I expose myself. Good to know. That's useful intelligence. Right, Yin Li, get back on the road as fast as you can, please. Just get over here for the time being and uh, can't recruit it. Ah, sorry, you're actually in March stance. My mistake. We'll move you on to that next turn. Yeah, potentially, I might want to send him up here just to start picking off some territory. All we want to do is start picking Yan Shao apart, destroying his economy as best we can. Thinking about it, actually, Kongrong might be a bit slow to arrive down all the way over here. So, actually, you, my good man, you hate everyone in this army. So, uh, it might be time for you to actually, yeah, take a little step outside. So, uh, you, uh, get out over here. And for the moment, yeah, just fall over to this city. This force is fine for the time being because the Toolmaker comes with a very healthy garrison of its own. So that's fine. This is still a full stack army effectively. Now, we've got ourselves a bunch of people I wouldn't mind recruiting. Though sadly, yeah, Guan Yen, who is actually very, very good indeed, doesn't get on with either of these individuals. That's a bit of a shame. 
Still, we do have a choice of two vanguards who would actually get on with you. These are both new guys, not currently part of the army. So, okay, let's see what we got going on here. You are from... Ah, you're from Tao Ying. Gotcha. Li Su, guerrilla fighter. Not desperately good traits in some ways. And Gong Ji's not great either. Unobservant and incompetent. So, uh, yeah, he's got lots of health. Next to a great deal of vanguards, his resolve is pretty darn good, but they're both kind of trash in some ways. And another problem, Lee Su is actually 63, so he can actually pass away and die any time, which would be a problem, yes. Well, I do need someone new floating around, so go on then, Gongji. Despite the fact you're unobservant and incompetent, you know what? I feel some form of great personal affinity with you. So welcome aboard regardless, because yeah, you do have a decent amount of health for a vanguard. And then we'll just get you set up with, yeah, a little bit more in the way of cavalry. We've got no commander now, so you'll fill that role. And you can also have yourself, yeah, just a bit of frontline assault infantry. So that's eaten a fair bit of money, but the surplus is looking healthy for the time being. I think we should be happy with that. Also, just thinking about it, yeah, me hang, no one's actually using that their composite bow anymore. So you can have that. Lovely. And as you're currently using a trader, which isn't exactly spectacular, yeah, go over to the cryptographer instead. Because that just gets you a little bit more cunning right there. Yeah, Mi Yang's doing nice, actually. Sword doesn't really matter, to be honest. But then again, could I give you a... I could give you a slightly better sword. Wow. Well, it's not really a better sword. But it would give you more expertise. So a bit more melee evasion in case of emergency, sure. Together with, yeah, you've got this really nice robe right here. You got yourself a nice black horse. You got yourself your cryptographer. You got a composite bow now. This is all lovely. Also, I can't help but notice that Gong Sun Zan has actually sent troops into my territory. I really, really hope he's planning to attack Yan Shao. Because that'd just be flipping great if he wants to do that. Alright, let's see what's going on now. Yes, you. Where are you going precisely? Because I'm a bit suspicious and... Uh, anything from... Hello! Right. Okay. Sao Sao is on the move. And as is Yan Shu and his personal force. But I think that's actually... Yeah, it got a bit battered. So, uh, where are you guys going? Aha! They've actually started to... Ooh, they've put me under siege. Okay, that doesn't really matter. And by the way, you're actually now... Ooh. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, we've got problems here. And Gonson Du has also been vassalized because of course he has. So Gonson Zan was formerly in coalition with that guy. And I'm guessing that's actually the guy who was way up here. All right, fine. And... Uh, Hello, what have we actually got here? No, sadly our spy was not able to infiltrate Sun Zhan yet. And also apparently, hang on, when was Tian Yu captured? He was not captured, but you can have the money for him, alright? I like Tian Yu. That's my main vanguard over in Kong Rong's army, isn't it? Yes, I've no idea how on earth he was supposedly captured, but apparently he was. So, it would appear that, yeah, Tao Ying has actually decided to send some of their troops by boat... To try and, uh, I don't know, get round the back of us or something. So in which case, you guys, uh, go and murder them, please. War coordination target, yeah, just go and murder those people. That's now your job. And Kong Rong, you just get down over here and can you actually make it to... Uh, no, you can't quite make it. If we're lucky, though, we might be able to capture one of their armies if we can actually outrun them. So uh, keep it going. Uh, no, they're now here. Okay, well, just, yeah, get over here and be ready to put them under siege as soon as possible. That is uh, a tiny force. The fishing port itself has nothing. Right, that's your last city. And I don't think you can get inside any of my cities inside a single turn. So, uh, yeah, the downside is, uh, what are you going to do next? Because I suspect you're about to just sail straight back to this fishing port, which would be kind of annoying, but no matter. If we're lucky, could you actually get over there in time? No, you can't get over there in time. Boo. Sadly, yeah, I think she's actually going to stop us. And Yan Shao is on the way. Right. I think Yan Shao's about to attack this force right here. Are you guys well set up for that? You guys have got good stuff, right? Yeah, you've got like the Great Glaive. That's not so bad at all. You've got yourself a military axe, which is sort of fine. You've got nothing, but you know, you're good at your job regardless. These forces... They should be okay. Alright. 
There is a decent garrison here to back us up. I think we can actually beat Yan Shao. If that's what he wants to do, we can handle it. And if that is what he wants to do, then in theory, I might be able to walk straight in to his territory. Luo Yang might actually be extremely vulnerable right now. That's... That's very interesting. Right, how far can you make it? You can't make it down over here. Okay, change of plans. Change of plans. Get over here. And if you can, can you actually... I keep forgetting to pull him out of march mode. You know what? You'll be just fine. All you guys are A-OK. -okay. And Gonsun Zan right now is only at war with the Han. So in theory, that army might be going to try and find some Han territory. But I'm not 100% sure. Also, hang on, what did I just see over there for a split second? Is that... No, that's Yellow Turbans. I thought for a second Zhang Yan might be attacking Zhen Zhang. But no, that's all absolutely fine. You're still not doing anything, by the way. Not sure why. I told you to go and attack, like, you know, this farmland and then this farmland ages ago. You just can't be bloody bothered. Okay, now we know there's a big army up here. You guys are going to... Yeah, you're in normal stance right now. You guys just make your way down over here, staying inside our territory. Let's go and start knocking over some farms here. Now, the Guangling farmland. The thing is, it is now under siege. Alright, Shi Yi, what in theory can you do here? How much do you actually have? You've got yourself... Actually, you've got a decent number of troops. And you have the ability to fight a night battle. In theory... Just in theory, maybe you can win this one. It's going to be bloody tight, but do they even have that much in the way of troops? No, but the problem is uh, they've got three generals, including one vanguard. That's the problem right there. But also a lot of G militia, who my archers should be able to do a lot of damage to. Okay, we might be able to pull this one off, but then hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Night battles are supposed to get rid of reinforcements. Do my reinforcements not get affected by that? Because officially I've got reinforcing zero, but... Okay, I guess we'll give it a go. Okay, big open battlefield, which isn't great in some ways, uh, but I do have the uphill advantage. Reinforcements are coming from that corner. So yeah, honestly, there's not much to be done here aside from... Okay, one small thing... Hang on, hang on, hang on. They've got themselves archers. I've got no shields because I've just got, what is it, peasant spears and G militia. Okay, Shi Yi, it's time for you to be the biggest damn hero who ever lived. Because if you're down over here, you might be able to take out their archers. Ooh. Okay, this is extremely high risk. Shi Yi, you might be about to die. But if you do, it's for the greater good. Alright, your troops just need to fall as far back as they can. Start the battle, fall back to this hill. That's a good spot to try and hold right there. And as for Shi Yi, he just stays hidden. Your archers go over to, yeah, flaming shot. We want morale minus four. Them breaking is pretty much the only chance we've got. Guys, start moving forward. Just get over there and, yep, yeah, just see if we can actually meet up with those bastards. More guys coming in momentarily. The captain's the best bet we've got. Those guys are medium troops. They're not so bad. They might be able to do the job. So everybody just forward, 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 all right? This will be lovely. Uh-oh. I think my general has very much been located. In fact, quite frankly, I feel the AI might have been cheating a bit there. How would you have known to send troops in that direction? Still... This sort of works, because if they're going to actually start sending their troops all over the shop to try and chase down my general, at the bare minimum, that actually buys me, yeah, a bit of time to actually draw up my troops and maybe get them staggered all over the place. But yeah, when they've got two sentinels and a vanguard, I cannot engage them directly. We're just going to have to try and sneak around them. I can't get my strategist. Well, I could, but he'd die. She will die if I charge him at the line. Right, back up top. Peasant Spearman, congratulations. You guys are now the flanks. Keep the archers safe. And the captains are going to go right in the middle. They're the chunkiest troops we've got. It's basically our only chance. Okay, one advantage here. These guys might actually be getting a bit staggered. 
on account of this. Yes, okay, they're starting to uh, fall back all over the place for the time being. Uh, there are some weakened units over here. We need to be concentrating fire on the full strength G militia. That's the important thing right there. Now, is everyone in position right now? I think you are at this point. So, okay, uh, let's just get you grouped up and locked in. Uh, so we can just, yes, yeah, slightly turn you guys round, please. But in a perfect world, Shi Yi needs to hit those archers. The question is, how are we going to make it happen? These are, they're just basic archer militia. In theory, just in theory, we might be able to make it happen. They're a bit scruffy. I mean, I could just do a suicide charge. If I just charge in, there's a possibility that that will just keep the line staggered. Right now, yeah, my archer line is to here. So we're nowhere near to that yet. They're getting themselves all drawn up here. Once they start getting a bit closer, I'm going to try and use Shi Yi to make them dance. It's the best bet I've got. So pull him back so they keep moving in this direction. But once we actually start getting into combat... Yeah, at that point, we're just going to have to make it fly. Also, all archers, sorry, but you're not on skirmish mode anymore. You're just flipping firing. Good luck with it. Now, where are the archers and where are they? Here we go. We're starting to move into position now. I might just actually charge Shi Yi straight down into these guys. As soon as they cross this line, as soon as they actually get inside range, Shi Yi charges... And we try and slow them down. In fact, there might be a gap right here. Right, Shi Yi, straight through the gap, please. Straight through. In fact, not just yet. Hold for a second. No, they're already firing. This kind of works, actually. This works for me. The infantry is still actually going forward. They're sending their Lancer militia. Here we go. They're being staggered. Look at that. Some of them are slowing down. They don't know what they want to do anymore. I'm going to die. Shi Yi, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry, but you might just grant us victory through your sacrifice here. Okay, they've entered range. They've entered range. So in which case, pick target. Pick them well. Actually, they're not... Are they quite in range yet? Some of them are. Some of them aren't. Now, concentrate fire on the big units, all right? We need to concentrate fire on the units that are actually full strength. They're the important ones we need to get down. So these guys over here, for example, they're the ones that we need to be hitting. And these guys on the end, they've all got flaming arrows. They've not got much, but they've got some. So you, go for you. You, go for you. You, wait for a second and go for whoever you can go to. Yeah, just actually hit these guys as well, please. There we go. So, Shi Yi is going to be absolutely flipping screwed. Uh, but, keep moving. Keep dancing. Alright? Just stop them from firing. Because look at that. They're skirmishing. They're stuck in skirmish mode. And that means my front line is safe. Just for the minute. You massive damn hero. And if we're lucky, yep, yeah, we're pulling their generals back too. Their generals are coming to assassinate Shi Yi. Shi Yi, I'm so sorry. But look at this. Their troops are starting to break. The sacrifice is going to be worth it. Shi Yi, you have been complaining for years about how you don't get paid enough. You haven't been promoted enough. Well, it's time for you to bloody prove your worth, my good man. Also, what the bloody hell just happened here? I've... No idea, but someone just exploded. All right, just keep on keeping on here. Whatever's exploded over there, it's just exploded. So, oh, Shi Yi, I'm so sorry. Chase the archers off here. All right, their front line is. Their front line's not happy. Their front line's not happy at all. Uh, you should be firing at these guys, actually. So keep on keeping on, please. Come on. All right, actually, their archers and cavalry seem to be stuck all the way down there. So Shi Yi, get over here. Don't let them fire. I need you to chase them off, please. Just, oh, I think Shi Yi's in a bit of trouble. He's down to like half health already. We're hitting some of those guys. Uh, you guys. Hit these guys in the rear. Shi Yi, just keep them busy. You've got to do this. I believe in you, Shi Yi. You can pull this off. And when I say you can pull this off, you probably can't. We're probably going to lose anyway. But on the plus side, uh, the archers are seeing off these guys. That's no problem at all. And uh, why on earth are you guys falling back so much? Oh, you guys are trying to push forward. No, 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 no. Right, just lay down the fire. Lay down the fire. Okay, hang on. Hang on, guys. Guys, 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 guys. I don't know why the hell some of you have decided to, you need to push forward at this point. But this is not good. So you guys, fall back please. You guys fall back too. You guys fall back too. You guys, uh, 
lay some fire over there, please. All of you guys lay fire over here. We might be able to wrap up this flank. And you are... You're doing very well right there, aren't you? Yes, you guys get over here and hit these guys. They can't be happy with life. So just get around the outside over there. She, where are you right now? You are chasing off these guys. Chase off these guys. They are just struggling to kill him. Now you guys just get over here. Come on. Come on, guys. I believe in you. You guys get over here. Hit these guys. Oh, my troops are starting to break as well. Lay down that fire. Lay down that fire. Lay down the fire. Everybody who can, lay down the fire. Just break them and... We've got... Oh, no. Our troops are starting to fall apart, too. She's done what he can, but there's only so much you can do. There's a lot of fire going on here. You guys, get on top of here. Actually, this flank's looking okay. You guys, wake up. Wake up. Lay down the fire over there. Come on. We might have this, but their generals might win it for them. I'm not sure. You guys just get over there. Hit these guys. There we go. Flaming arrows right on top. she ye. You're doing it, you magnificent bastards. You're doing it. I've no idea how you're doing it, but... Okay, Shiyi, get over here and push right into the rear of them. I don't know how the hell this is working, but it just, just is. We've got some of them surrounded. You, put some fire on these guys, please. Yeah, right there. You, right here as well. Shiyi is... Oh, he's being caught... And come on, she -yi. Our men are running. Oh, no, he's just done the big roar. I think we're going to lose anyway. But on the plus side, we've really slowed him down. We've damaged him badly. That's a shame. I thought we might have a chance here. But, I mean, it could still go either way. The problem is I think their general is going to carry it. Particularly, oh, they're flipping. Sentinel is just keeping she -yi tied down. And hit him. Hit him in the rear. See if we can break these guys. In you go. And an enemy unit is fleeing. Do we actually have... Hang on. she -yi, get over here and hit these guys. We might be able to. Just maybe. Is that a break? That's a break. Okay, guys. Guys, guys, guys. Go. Everybody. Roll them up. Start rolling them up right now. Everybody who's left. Put the fire down. We might have... I don't know. I don't know who's winning right now. Oh, bloody hell. Um, just lay down fire. Get the troops in over here. These are basic G militia. They've got good... They're breaking too. They've got nothing left but the generals. But the generals might be able to win it by themselves. Okay, guys. Guys, guys, guys. Everybody. Over here. Over here. Over here. Everybody just target fire. All right. Hit these guys as best we can. Their vanguard keeps using his bloody abilities. These guys are about to be hit by a bunch of flaming arrows. They're breaking too. I don't know who's winning. She is running. Oh, she ye no. You were doing such a good job. Right, archers. Charge forward and hit their archers. I don't know if that's going to work, but it might. And you guys, these guys are still here. Fire on them. I mean, it looks like they're running, but the problem is I've got nothing left. I think I might basically have killed everything they've got, but unfortunately, all my units are going to break too. I don't know if I've got enough. She is back. She is officially back. Right, get him after the archers. We might be able to get him over there. Go on, no, no, no. Around the enemy, around the enemy, around the enemy. Come on, she ye. Right, some units are starting to regroup. Guys, get over there. All right, if you can fight, fight these guys. Come on, we might be able to take out these guys. She ye. Get over here. Hit these guys. I think their vanguard's coming in. Yeah, their vanguard really wants to. No stopping. Somebody shoot the vanguard. Just get in there and hit him. My troops are not happy, but their troops aren't happy either. Those swords were going to break before my G militia do. You guys, turn. Fire. Come on. Lay down everything. Just keep putting in everything we've got left. Oh, he's broken. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Those guys are broken, but they are slightly coming back together too. These guys are falling apart. We've got flaming arrows laid down on their troops, but we've got no front line left. This is the end. We've got no flipping front line. Well, we've got these guys. Our men are running. Don't pass it on. Come on. No, this is it. This is it. Wait, hang on. Who the hell are you guys and what are you doing down there? Get back into battle. Get over here. Hit them. Ah, oh, no. Two of our units gave chase. They might have been able to do something if they were in position. She is naffing off. You guys are naffing off too. These guys are surprisingly holding on. You guys, fire. 
Turn and fire. Just turn and fire at these archers. Do we have anything left? These guys have managed to slightly regroup. I mean, fight. Just fight. We've got reinforcements coming in. Well, not much, but like a bit. Is this over? This might be over. I don't know. Right, the problem is their vanguard still got 26,000 health. I don't think we've got an answer to him. Right, just keep laying down the fire. Yeah, he's using his stupid morale debuff and I can't stop it because it just keeps causing my troops to flee. Come on, guys. Just keep on it. No. No, I think this is about it. But then again, I mean, we've got these guys. Guys, what are you doing? Guys, what are you... Why are you doing this? Guys, stop it. Stop it. Whatever you're doing, stop. Right, you guys get over here. My only chance now is these two units are able to win by themselves. This is literally all I've got left. So let the other fleeing units go first. Because the thing is, the other fleeing units are just going to pass on morale debuffs. These guys, uh, well, they can't be thrilled. Yeah, damage is sustained and also she yees naffed off. He's, well, he survived, but the problem is he's actually falling back to a town that's about to fall, which is not good. But then again, this place is under siege. Just because we lose doesn't mean we lose the town. You guys fall back to town, maybe, just maybe, we've done enough damage that with a fresh set of arrows, we might be able to win. I don't know. Right, you guys, go and hunt down the vanguard if you can. Here we go, we got troops coming in. You guys don't charge directly. You guys are on the flank. So get in over here, hit these guys. Yep, see if you can get their vanguard down. And then we might be able to form a nice sandwich. He's just using his stupid morale ability over and over. They're already wavering. Vanguards are a problem. You, charge, hit these guys. I know you're spears, I'm sorry about this, but I need you to break these guys. These guys have got, no, no, that's it. But that was one a hell of a valiant defeat right there. Shi Yi, I'll build a statue to you, my good man. He got 148 kills. A strategist got 148 kills. Now the thing is, yeah, that was that was a Sally battle. So what's actually left here? He's still yeah, he's still under siege. How much do you guys have left? Because you still need to actually push this to make this happen. Also, from summer, we've picked up the six secret teachings. So, plus six cunning, uh, plus six satisfaction, uh, plus 16% chance of ambushing. That's not bad, you know. I'll tell you what, Lou Gan, you've not got anything right now. How do you feel about that? In fact, actually, we've got, we've got loads of books for strategists. Yeah, you know what? We'll give you that. Go on, then. And you can have that trader as well. So, this guy's just getting smarter and smarter. And Gong Jay, you can actually have, yeah, the wooden ox... No followers I can give you, unfortunately. And you rang. Sadly, the amazing spears are not actually available today. Sorry about that. But I guess I can give you strategies of the warring states. Because, yeah, guerrilla deployment's not actually that bad, to be honest. So, uh, might be worth it. You can have that for now. Right, so we've got a loss under there, unfortunately. And, Jeff, yeah, he decides to try and push in next turn, uh, we're going to be a bit boned. And Kong Rong is... Kong Rong's never getting there in time. Could you actually sally out, like, again? No, that burns his movement points, so that's no good. Still, we've seen off his cavalry. That's nice. I mean, just in theory, what's left? What's actually left here at this point? This farmland now has... Oh, nothing. Like, yeah, that was a bit of a slaughter. And your army has... I don't know, I can't even find it right now. I suspect she might be in trouble there. Okay, but... Over here, we've got good news, which is Zhu Chu has actually exposed himself. But more importantly, Sao Ren is right here. Now, Sao Ren. Is that one of Sao Sao's sons? Because I know Sao Pi is one of Sao Sao's sons. Because he's the guy who would take over when Sao Sao died in real history. I think Sao Ren might be as well. I'm not actually 100% sure about that one. But he is actually available. He's got some good stuff on him. So if we were able to capture and kill him... That might be of interest. Right, deploy the troops. We can pick off this small army and know there'll be reinforcements. Darn it, they're in a mutually reinforcing position. That's annoying because, yeah, the actual arrow means they're actually together. Okay, in which case, hold steady. If they want to throw themselves at the toolmaker, they're welcome to try. Except, hang on, Lugan... No, Lugan can't night fight. I could have actually used night fighting to sort that problem out, but... Lugan, tragically, is not yet experienced enough to be able to do that. 
Right, bit of a difficult turn here in that case, dear oh dear. Still, focus on what we can do here. Spend money on, yeah, just getting more and more money out of industry. It'll take a while to do, but it's worthwhile. And as for Chen, Chen wants some better public schooling. Honestly, uh, it can have it. Chen could really, really do with being a bit happier. Chen's been a bit miserable for a while. You guys are ready to go, though, right? Yeah, I feel like you guys are ready to go. If Yan Xiao wants to come and attack that farmland, uh, I think we're ready to let him. I think we can beat him. Hopefully, anyway. Also, thinking about it, down over here, Can Cheng. Okay, sure, you absolutely hate all of these guys, but if they're about to be attacked, then it's probably best you actually go and, you know, join in and whatever. So, get down over here and be ready to support these guys, please. There we go, right next to the city. We're now as close together as we can be. So that's another thousand or so troops right there. And yeah, don't forget, this place does actually have, yeah, a decent amount of stuff in it. Oh, yes, I forgot. And actually, like, you know, demolished everything here. I should really spend some money sorting that out, shouldn't I? Actually, I need to finish upgrading this first. Right, next turn, spend some money on Yang Zhao. Assuming I still own Yang Zhao, which is, um, up for debate right now. All right, Gonsun Zan is, oh, there... They're invading with even more troops. Are they about to attack me? No, and Yan Shao has decided to... Oh! Oh, flip. You're going for... Hang on. What? What do you mean that's going to be a... Oh! I see. Very clever. I think what they've actually decided to do there is they've put the settlement under siege with one force and then attacked with the other. So therefore, this guy can't do anything anymore. Right, well, you're retreating for the time being. So just, oh, I think you're about to be, you're about to be slaughtered. I'm so sorry about this. Okay, so this is another one of those battles where we have to lose in the best way possible. Very bloody clever of the AI, by the way, having Sal Rem put this place under siege. But I might be able to turn this into an advantage because if this burns this guy's movement points, then he might not be able to actually reinforce against Sal Ren. So, okay, fight. And prioritise the one thing we can do, which is uh, use my one unit of cavalry to try and damage his crossbows. Right. Begin the fight and immediately fall back a little bit here. Need to fall back in this sort of a direction because the horses are over there. So I need to make sure they're not discovered. You guys fall back to maybe here-ish. And then that gives the horses uh, the best chance they've got of not being discovered. Here we go. So they've seen my main army. It's over there. It's exposed. That's all 100% fine. And now they're going to start moving in that direction to go and attack those guys. They just stay right back over there. We let those guys just charge in. What are you doing, by the way? You're doing something bad, probably even worse than I'm expecting. Just wait. Wait, wait, and wait. All right, I've got some archers. They can't do much, but guys, I'm so sorry. Can Cheng, uh, you kind of hated everyone and now you're going to die to try and save their lives. So uh, consider this your redemption arc right here. Here we go. Wait, wait, keep waiting. And uh, as soon as we actually move into range here, where is my troops? Okay, you guys start moving over here. You're probably safe to move over into this position. Yeah, there we are. They weren't exposed. Stay right here hidden in the tree line. And there's the crossbows. Keep moving. Just head alongside them. Don't get spotted. And any moment now. Here we go. This is looking good. Just keep heading over here. And I think... Oh! Yeah, would you believe they've decided they want to actually uh, duel? He wants to duel. No! I don't think we're going to be uh, we're going to be doing that, actually. Right. Now, time for the cavalry to just go and try and hit these guys. And they should basically thunder out of the forest and do a lot of good quality damage. This is going to be an absolute slaughter. Yeah, you know what? This is this is not going well already. Just basically form a defensive box. Form a big box as best you can. These guys are just going to slam straight into the crossbowman. This is all we can do, damn it. This is all we flipping got. No. I'm not dueling you stupid champion. It ain't happening. Right, chase off those bastards. Uh, and now just basically do what we can. Hold out for as long as possible. Just survive. 
basically just flipping survive. These guys have got themselves, yeah, speed and morale up in and around forest, so uh, I'm guessing that's good. Uh, how are you guys doing, by the way? What are you caught up in right now? You caught up in, yeah, more crossbows. Just keep chasing off the crossbows. And you know what? Get out of the forest if you'd be so kind. Get over here and stop these guys firing on me. Those are repeating crossbows, which is why it's a never-ending withering fire. It's kind of garbage, but yeah, as people do actually remind me, it does have suppression. So it does actually, like, slow down units it's firing on. So it's useful in defense, if not so much in attack. And uh, our men are already falling apart here. Right, try and slow them down as best you can. Lay down some fire on the G, because where else are you going to lay down the fire? Our horses are doing some good work to the crossbowmen. In fact, you know what, General? Try and actually get on top of the crossbows yourself. It's the best bet you've got. In fact, you know what? Go and hunt down the strategists. The best bet you've got is actually to just go and see if you can get on top of their leaders. So, just, yeah, push through. Round over here. Hit this guy, please. Just basically hit him with a sword. Maybe you can kill that guy. That's probably the best you've got right now. They're sending G Militia over there. So get away from them, please. Instead, go over here. Yep, just hit these guys. Just do do what we can here. It's not much, but it's going to have to flip and do the job. And you, don't let them get away. Do not let them get away. Keep chasing them down. That guy's a bit isolated. Go for him instead. Oh, bloody hell, their champion is just hunting me down. It may not be a duel, but he's coming for me anyway. Right, uh, don't let him. Don't flip and let him, because he hits... How hard does he hit? He hits really bloody hard. Yes, yeah, 6,000 armor piercing a swing. That ain't fun. So instead, just basically get every unit we can all the way over here, and we'll start just trying to trash the crossbows. It's the best we've got right now. Okay, the way we're going to think about this turn when we actually write the history books is this is the turn where we cleared out some chaff because we had a couple of garbage leaders who didn't really like working for us. So getting rid of them is not exactly the worst thing in the world, all right? It's all fine. You are too pathetic to survive. I will crush you for this insult. Oh, you're not going to, Kang Cheng. Don't say things you can't back up. You're going to be destroyed. Oh, there we go. I think Kang Cheng was basically just absolutely slaughtered by the champion. Uh, yeah, there we go. I mean, the bare minimum, how many did we actually kill there? I think we managed to kill like 800 of their men or something. Uh, yeah, we got ourselves 100 kills on that guy. Uh, the cavalry got 200 kills. Uh, 200 kills on the archers. And oh, bloody hell, he just got stabbed by a hammer. I'm not even sure how that makes sense, but it is a thing that just happened, Jess. And yes, as a result of that, they've... Oh, he's immediately broken the siege. Bloody clever, the AI in this game. That was a bloody good move right there. And Liu Bei wants defense against Liu Yan. I could have sworn we were already actually at war with Liu Yan. Hang on, isn't Liu Yan these guys down over here? No, that's Liu Yao. Who's Liu Yan? You know what? I guess we'll say yes. Right, time for a third defeat in a row, because now, yeah, they're coming in to finish the job. And uh, I can't stop them. Unless, by some miracle, I've got walls. Do I have walls? I don't think I've got walls. No, it's only level three. I've got no walls. All right, time for loss number three, then. I mean, this is a scruffy fight right here. This is about a thousand men versus a thousand men. That's all it is. We do have a lot of firepower. Next to them right now, because, uh, yes, yeah, some of their archers have been badly damaged, but then all of mine have been badly damaged. Okay, we've got to try and do the thing again, which is, hang on, can you guys actually get deployed into the water? I'm not sure if that water's passable enough, like, streams are passable, that might be a bit much. So, uh, right, in which case, this might give us... Uh, a bit of a chance right here. So one, Spears uh, go at the edge. All of the G Militia goes right here. You guys go right here. All of you guys. Yeah, there's some more Spears there, actually. You guys right there as well, please. Lovely. All the rest of you are archers. Uh, you're all just going to go right here. All of the guys that belong to you are going to be on fire arrow mode. Uh, and Shi Yi is going to be over here. He's just going to hide inside the forest. In the off chance, he can sacrifice himself, doing exactly the same thing again, chasing off a small number of archers. Alright, this is the only chance we've got. 
In fact, could you go a bit further forward? Uh, no, no, you can't. Godspeed, you magnificent bastard. This is all we've got left. All right, where's my line up to? Right, it's about here when they enter this patch right about here, just above this shape. That's the point where archers will start firing on each other. The problem is, even if I could break them, at this point, the generals are going to win single-handedly. There's not enough infantry left on the field to defeat the generals. Which is a bit of a shame, really. Because, uh, I mean, maybe no. No, this isn't possible. The generals just have too much health by themselves. Like, this unit's got... That's 26,000 health, but it's not a very good unit. This general has 33,000 health all by herself, so this is not going to fly. And here we go. Firing has commenced. I'm now going to deploy Shi Yi as a distraction straight at them to see if some units are willing to turn and be distracted, which they are immediately. Good. Good, 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 good. Right, so we need a, we need a good spread of fire here. We need the fire to be spread across all surviving units. Hit them with everything we've got left, all right? This is the only chance we've got if we might be able to just, yeah, knock them back with fire arrows. Uh, but there we go. Look at that. The Vanguard, he's devastatingly powerful. And Shi Yi has basically managed to chase off the entire archer line, but the front line's already collapsing. The front line's giving up already. Uh, yeah, at this point, they've got themselves flipping block chance up. Melee evasion is up to... There's nothing. There's just nothing. We've got nothing left already. I mean, lay down the fire you've got. Shi Yi, chase them off if you can. Come on, just stop them doing anything. But no. I just can't stand up to the vanguard. Not by myself, not without anything else. We're being pushed back. Yeah, I noticed. It's not great. I mean, the one positive is their generals aren't focusing on Shi Yi, but possibly that's just because he's not worth the trouble. They can do more damage destroying my line. And this is it. There's nothing I can do here. There's nothing at all. And I think they're all going to mass break under Roar of the Beast. Basically, the Vanguard won this by himself. And I think everybody's, uh, if not broken, uh, then close by. Come on, Spears. No. Not a chance. And uh, I think Shi Yi was just killed as well. Oh, Shi Yi, you magnificent bastard. I'm so sorry. And Tao Ying has also irritatingly made it back to town. But hang on. Have you idiots decided to take me on in the open field? So as a result of that, I don't actually need to... Well, that makes life much easier. Thank you, you stupid bastards. Right, I might be able to actually win a battle today. I know that's asking for a lot under the circumstances, but I think we might actually be able to do so. Right, remember, they're coming at us right now, so uh, here we go. Just draw up in the open field, because uh, we've got ourselves all sorts of advantages here. In particular, the trebuchet. We want to make sure that can fire as much as it possibly can. Oh, you know, it's nice to actually have, you know, a real army for once. This is just flipping lovely. In fact, you know what? Let's just deploy a couple of troops over here into the forest... Just to go and uh, scout out. Actually, this forest will be safer. Start over there and then sweep in if need be. I can't remember how many archers they've got, but it must be some. Ah, yes, and bear in mind, uh, Tian Yu can very comfortably duel if need be. As, of course, can Liu Humin. Right, here we go. Horses have arrived in the central forest over here. So they can just keep an eye on the central plains for me. There we go. I see... Uh, I see something. And... Oh! Hello, I may have accidentally just discovered some archers. Yeah, screw it. Hit the archers. We found archers. <laughs> right, well, that's a good starting point. We just sort of accidentally found some archers out in the middle of nowhere. What the hell is going on with your army right now? I don't know, but we just found some archers in a forest, so they're dead now. Good start. Right, they're shattered and not coming back. Get back into the forest for the time being. Uh, so far, the AI seems to be doing... Uh, well, there's a strategist. She's only level 1 and she's only got 21,000 hit points. I could just try and basically attack her. Don't know where the rest of your army is. What the hell's going on here? But, I mean, if you've just basically thrown a strategist out into the middle of nowhere, I'm happy to go and murder her. Yeah, there's the main army. But the strategist is, no, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going. We know she's there. She's right there, alright. So, 
find her, hunt her down. I think this is possibly the... Uh, yeah, this was the first army. So now, basically, get on top of her. And if we can actually kill one of their units, that'd be great. So, uh, yeah, everybody around her, give her a damn good poke if you'd be so kind. Uh, she's down to, uh, yeah, 20,000 and falling. So, uh, I'm not sure whether we'll be able to kill her, but at the bare minimum, we can soften her up a little bit. So, uh, let's start work on that. Where's your line? They're going to start firing on me. It's probably not worth it for me to sacrifice my cavalry over this, but... You know what? We're not doing much to her. Back off, back off, back off. Fall back to the forest and just keep an eye on what's going on here. They might fire on us a little bit. No, their archers were facing the other way. Right, so we did about a thousand health damage to her. Not much, but not nothing either. Okay, the exposed archer core has now been seen off. At this point, yes, the army itself is on the move. So, uh, I think they were waiting for the reinforcements from town. But at this point... How much do they have left in terms of archers? Like two units, not much at all to be honest. So uh, move the cav over here if you'd be so kind. Uh, we might be able to hit the rest of it yet. They do seem to know roughly where I am though. Uh, yeah, they're sort of... Uh, they're not sure mind, not 100%. Ah, they just saw this cav for a second. They're heading over to that. Right, let's lead them back towards my army because I'm perfectly happy for them to walk straight to trebuchet range. In fact, actually, these horses are now pretty much all exhausted. So it's probably best. You guys fall back to your position over here. These cav will actually just start moving around the outside, ready to actually start working. Because these cav are actually now lovely and fresh. We haven't used them for anything yet. So uh, change over, please. Change over. Now, let's look at the dueling situation here. Looks like we could, yeah, deal with some of these guys without too much difficulty. In terms of, yeah, the actual vanguard. Liu Humin. You could also deal with a handful of them yourself. Lovely. But yeah, the big heavy hitter is Tian Yu, who can do, yeah, about 3,000 damage a swing, including 2,600 armor piercing. So uh, he should be able to, yeah, absolutely slaughter all of these individuals one by one, including tragically a legendary, though Yu Yingping. I don't know if I know who you are. Sorry, I do a bit of reading around Romance of the Three Kingdoms, but I can't remember literally everybody. Oh, here we go. I think they're actually in a position they're happy with right now. Uh, and that means, momentarily, uh, it's trebuchet time. I'm going to bring my fresh cavalry over to this flank, exhausted cavalry over to here, because all their generals are over here for the time being. So, in come the first few heads. And those are some big heads to start us off right there. Loving it. Uh, yeah, we need to actually get some cavalry over there to intercept some of these bastards sooner rather than later. You guys get round over here. Be ready to start moving in. Trebuchets! That's some good stuff right there. But yeah, focus your attention on, uh, yeah, the actual G militia. I want their front line demolished if you'd be so kind. That's a bit more important to me. Their generals are hanging back for the time being. Uh, they're not rushing in. In fact, actually, you guys... Uh, yeah, they're walking uh, rather than running for the time being. Still, I'm kind of surprised about that. <laughs> You'd think they'd be in a bit of a hurry under the circumstances, but nope, this doesn't worry them in the slightest. Right, looks like we've got some archers trying to move forward, so uh, deploy cavalry to slow them down. Let's just keep them dancing inside trebuchet range. And uh, yeah, change target over to... Uh, how about over? Yeah, this looks good. This looks like a nice, tightly clustered group of enemies. Right, so cavalry uh, getting over here. You uh, over to here. You over to here. Chase them back. Chase them back. Chase them back. Don't let them start firing on me. Uh, we can get a good early charge in on them. Oh, that's some good stuff. Right, you guys immediately disengage, please, because you're not really in an advantageous position. But the Lancers uh, might just be able to see these guys off immediately. Look at that. They're just giving up no time whatsoever. Right, you guys. Oh, that was a big hit. That was a lot of dead people. You guys are breaking. Right, start falling back and start falling back. We're not even in crossbow range yet. But look at this. Their formation is disrupted. And that means they're all bunched together. Here we go. Cavalry falling back. And crossbow fire starts to come in. These are my best crossbows. This is the... Oh, that's going to be a nice big fight right there. You guys want to fight, do you? Uh, British strength is... No, no, no. I think I choose who fights who, by the way. Apparently, you would easily be able to beat that person. But... 
No, I'm going to actually decline for the time being. I will decide uh, who we're dueling and when, please. So, uh, just give it a moment for everyone's to dual stuff. Okay, maybe you can fight her, but then again, hang on. Liu Humin has uh, a bit of bad experience against flipping uh, Sentinels. Yeah, she's lost to a Sentinel she was supposed to be able to beat in the past. No, 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 no. Just, guys, hold on for one bloody second, please. I will duel you... But, I would like to duel you with, yes, my actual vanguard. So, you go and attack her right now. The other vanguard's actually got himself a decent weapon by the Luxi of it. So, don't let Liu Humin nearby to him. As for you two, yeah, you've actually got yourself something good. You've not so much. So, 46,000 health hits for about 1,000 to go. 38,000 health. Hits for 1,600, but, yeah, evade 15, dodge 20%, versus his armor of 35. Dodge only 3. I won't do it just yet. Liu Humin, stay back. Let this guy handle that business. Okay, for the time being, yeah, focus on cavalry, because it looks like all of these guys are stuck out on this flank. So, uh, pull their generals away with cavalry if we can. Big hit. Coming in across the board here. Trebuchet. Uh, get a hit in over there if you can. We'll see if we can actually pull these guys away as best we can. Those guys are not happy about life in general. Uh, you guys start actually... Oh, you. Don't let him through, please. You focus on... Yeah, over there. Let's start actually uh, spreading the fire out a bit, please. And if we can... Yep, some of them are starting to turn around because they're trying to hit my... Oh, big hit right there. Screw you. Oh, massive hit. Massive hit. Right, you get over here. Chase off these guys. At this point, my front line looks pretty safe as far as I'm concerned. You guys get out of there, all right? You guys just run, run, run. I want you to be getting round to his actual flipping archers. I want them done. So you guys don't do that, by the way. Don't do that. You guys keep these guys busy for the time being. As Yeah, there's some actual G in the way. So you guys just get over here, hit these guys, and that should be a great big hit right there. This jewel is going spectacularly well. She's about to be absolutely annihilated. Those archers aren't going to stand up too much yet. And yeah, at this point, those guys are doing well. Trebuchets, you turn your attention over there. Uh, everyone actually turn your attention over there. You guys just fall back for a second. Uh, if you could, you guys get over here, hit these guys in the back, please. Nice big charge right into the rear. We've got a champion right there. Would someone like to just go and keep him busy for the time being? Yeah, right now their champions are all a bit on the busy side. Just send some infantry to go and take care of them. We're about to win this duel over here. That'll be fine. You just keep them busy. Yeah, you just put a bit of fire over there. That unit just broke straight away. You just charge into this axe band. They can't have much left in them. This is looking like it's an absolute flipping annihilation, actually. This is looking very, very good indeed. What's even left? And, yep, yeah, you've emerged victorious. So, as a result of that, I think it's time to, as soon as we can, get him dueling again. Right now, he's going for his horse. Get him back on his horse. Right, he's back on his horse now. Who else wants to flipping go? Go for the champion without the special weapon. So, he's willing to duel because, you know, he's a champion. That's his job. So, we'll just go and murder him too, please. There we go. You will fall. You will, you know. Right, uh, someone just go and deal with them as well. Their entire front line is just given up. We've got cavalry just sitting around doing nothing right now. Uh, hit these guys in the back because, there we go, they've broken too. Right, it's nothing left. But generals, and I've not taken much of the way of damage. This army is really doing its job. Well done, everybody. But yeah, at this point, this isn't looking good. Uh, actually, you know what? The really good general is trying to flee. Do not let him go. I want him shot down because he's holding a big silver G thing. I'd like that for my collection, please. Do not let him escape. How's the duel going, by the way? Because you just need to win in, yeah, the next 25 seconds. So, go on, Tian Yu, with your great big spear thing. Ooh, a bit of a hit there. Go on, give him a stab. Actually, you've got yourself, yeah, Roar of the Beast. So, just uh, scare him off, please. Let's just actually get rid of him. He's already exhausted. He doesn't like that one little bit. Roar of the Beast. He might be about to flee, actually. No, nope, never mind. Uh, just stabbed him. Excellent. So, we won within the time limit right there. 
And with that, we've just won in general. How are the other generals doing, by the way? Because I'd like them dead too, if you'd be so kind. So, uh, right. That guy is 20,000 and falling. Uh, hang on, where's the... Uh, Where's the champion gone? Have we already got him? No, he's over there. How's he doing? 31,000. No, unfortunately, it's going to be difficult to actually kill him. He's just got too much health to hack through. Well, you know what? We'll have another go because presumably they'll fall back into the town. So we can just basically finish them off there. We will get another run at this. Right, giant pile of money, which is always welcome. And here we go. We've got ourselves... Oh, wow, we captured three of them. And one of them's willing to work for me, in theory. Okay, let's see what we got here. Who did we actually, you know, bring over to us? So you, you don't look particularly good, to be honest. Pretty standard, boring level one strategist. We've got plenty of them. Uh, nothing to steal. You can be released. That's absolutely fine. These other two guys, however, they come with weapons. Oh, that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted right there. So... Uh, 3,400 damage in total, of which half is armor-piercing. Oh, yeah. Sorry, my good man, but you're being killed for that. Honestly, I'd happily let you go if you just gave me the damn thing. Then again. Then again. He's actually pretty darn good, all things considered. Because uh, right now, yeah, honest, plus six, that's nice, uncomplicated. Uh, that's fine, to be honest, the recruitment cost up, which isn't great. Patient is nice. It's always good for this guy to have a bit more expertise as well. Fatigue resistance. That's nice. Okay. Takes longer to feel fatigued. Uh, solitary is not bad. Minus two satisfaction for everybody in the same army as him. And also less chance of evading capture. You know what? You're not that spectacular. I'm just actually having uh, the G of the Imperial Guard. So uh, goodbye. And as for you, you've actually got yourself, yeah a sword, which is not bad, but not spectacular either. Who are you friends with, by the way? Uh, Tao Ying himself. Fine. No one important. We're about to deal with Tao Ying in a moment. Creative is nice. Competitive is nice. Friendly is nice. But this guy refuses to join my faction because he hates me. So as a result of that, yeah, you're also being put to death. I'll just have two nice weapons right there. I'll also take the replenishment and these guys now flee backwards. Beautiful. Right, we should be able to just walk in on this occasion. Uh, there we go. And uh, okay, remind me, who the hell is Liu Yan? Ah, I see. He's right here by Liu Bei. That's why you want to go to war with this guy. Gotcha. And there we go. Two amazing new weapons right there. Noble Sword, G of the Imperial Guard. Now, 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 now. This is kind of important, actually, because uh, we've still got ourselves a big old pile of troops out here. But you rang. I've got a present for you, actually. Yeah, I've got a big G of the Imperial Guard. Now, with that available... Is there any chance you Ran can stand up against Zuchu? No. No, he cannot. But he might be able to just completely annihilate Sal Ren. That's certainly possible. But the thing is, they're going to be... If I attack you, yeah, reinforcements. They're just standing in a stupid self-reinforcing pattern, which is very annoying. You know what? I've had enough of flipping losing. It's time to take some territory back here. Before we do, though, I suspect we've got some, yes, very, very well-earned level-ups right there. Tian Yu, you bloody deserve it. Ah, this will do for you as well. 40% increase in melee attack rate, which is uh, pretty damn huge, together with armor-piercing damage up 10% for the entire army. That's actually really nice right there. Also, bloody hell, Shi Yi's apparently not dead. And neither's Kang Cheng. They're both just, I assume, yes, very wounded. Um, does anyone know where he is? Okay, he's just in court right now. Well, that's surprising. I thought both of you were going to be very dead. Have you got any, like, really awesome scars or anything? No, but Shi Yi is both feared and intimidating. And quite frankly, I don't blame him. He just killed, like, 400 guys. And he's fine. He survived. Ah, but here's something interesting. We've got ourselves a new general in the army. But the thing is, uh, this guy, Zheng Bao, he only exists because Kan Cheng fell in battle. The army needed a leader, so he was created as a result of that. But then the army immediately ceased to exist. So as a result of that, he immediately returned to court, but has decided he just sort of hates me. So, 
I'm going to be honest, you can just sort of go, Zhang Bao, because as far as I can tell, you don't seem to be very good. Yeah, temperamental, spiteful, lame. Together with healthy, and I feel like those two things are slightly, you know, not in line with each other, but no, you can just go, actually. If we need a good quality sentinel, yeah, Guan Yen is just waiting to be deployed when we can find a place from her. So, uh, yeah, I could actually just banish him and steal all his money, but minus five satisfaction for literally everybody else. So, instead, you can just go, actually. Goodbye. Actually, hang on, before we do... Are you holding anything good? You are! You're holding something useful to me. Right, just one second, please. We'll just move you over to a useless axe we don't care about. And now, now you may go. Right, let's actually go and flipping win something. So even though it's winter, I kind of don't flip in care. All right, you guys naff the hell off. I'm having your flipping fishing port. Ah, and this is interesting. Tao Ying is leading the army himself. Sadly, there's only a 10% chance to capture him, which is a real shame because it looks like he's holding something cool. The Jade Sickle. Very nice. I'm not sure it actually, you know, works as a weapon or anything. No, that's... That's not a weapon. That's actually just, you know, his bonus thing. It's just in the weapon slot because it looks a bit weapony. Right, that would be nice if we could get our hands on it, but honestly, it doesn't really matter so much. All right, ready to go, and I'd like to remind everybody that I just want to vassalize Tao Ying. I want to bring them into the family, but no, they had to be dicks. So now, they have to die because they sided with Yan Shao. So, my vanguard can deal with the reinforcements coming in, deal with all of those bastards, uh, while at the front gate, we can just start basically putting a bit of fire. No, 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 guys, uh, don't just fire at will, all right? You actually don't fire until... Seriously, you want to do this? All right, I'm willing to accept that, Jewel. That's absolutely a okay Just go and flip and murder him. Everybody else, just get over here. Get over here. And cavalry, be ready to move in. Absolutely lovely. This is going to be an absolute flipping slaughter, you stupid bastard. You don't have anything. Anything on my vanguard, all right? You are just going to be absolutely torn apart. And yeah, I do like it's not all the time, but sometimes they do have the right weapon. So he's supposed to be holding the heirloom spear. And you can see that that's exactly what he's got. He's actually got the right weapon with a little kind of red bobble at the top. So that's really cool. And everyone doesn't want to get involved in this because it's so damn badass. And by the way, yeah, just use Roar of the Beast because I think that might affect these guys back here. Yeah, that affects all these guys back here too. So just basically get around the outside, get around the outside. Uh, how's this going, by the way? Is anyone actually coming out? Yeah, some troops are actually trying to come out here. Right, well, that's... No, 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 no. Excuse me. Excuse flipping me. Send forward some cavalry. Do not fire on my flipping trebuchets, please. And looks to me like we're coming upon the end of this duel right here. Yep, he is officially fallen. That's another kill for you. Uh, well flipping done. Uh, next up, you can't actually duel that woman because she's a strategist. But, at the bare minimum, you can just, yeah, hop on your horse and now just go and murder her for a bit. So that's all absolutely fine too. Who's left over there, by the way? Ah, that's Tao Ying himself. Right, so bloody hell, we are laying down a lot of... <laughs> He's very chill about it. I mean, due respect to him, he's got arrows sticking out of him. The arrows are just bouncing. Look at him. <laughs> There's so many arrows in his horse. He's being very chill about this. He's being very chill indeed. Uh, right, okay. I think it's probably time for you guys to just, yeah, form up right here. No need for you guys to actually go further into the town. Uh, right, I think we've won. He's decided he didn't want to do that in the end. He's very tired. <laughs> yes, that's the biggest problem you've got right now. You're very tired. Marvellous. Just going to check this here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Pause for a second. Pause for a second. Let's just actually count how many arrows are stuck in his horse right now. So, hang on. That's one, two, three, four, five, six arrows in his horse. No, hang on. There's another one in the leg back there. Seven arrows in his horse and one stuck through his chest. But he's absolutely A-OK -okay to continue. All right, he's not dead. I love romance mode. It's wonderful. And with that, we should get ourselves a nice big pile of money because some generals died. We just picked up an ancillary too. This place is, yeah, we just want this place to be fine. So just occupy this place and 
yeah, uh, Han wants her face. The strategist just took over the entire faction. Uh, Bert was immediately killed. No, she was also killed. Uh, so uh, Yu Ying Ping also took over. But then she was also killed. Uh, so, okay. <laughs> Basically, we handed over the crown twice in a row and then the faction was destroyed. Beautiful. So, uh, that's one group of bastards who won't be causing us trouble anymore. Wow, this place was actually level one. Amazing. Well, we may as well get that upgraded then. Sure, we're making a ton of money off this place. We may as well reinvest at least some of it. And there we go. Sadly, we have lost all the rest of Guangling. But now, Kong Rong is ready to start marching south. And uh, though we have lost a lot, look here. This army is now very, very vulnerable indeed. We should be able to wrap up this entire faction at this point. Ah, yes, and Yan Zhao. So right now, yeah, this place has got itself two different bits of farmland. So obviously one of the things we do want is an increase in farm production, please. The thing is, do I dare deploy Yu Rang to go and take on the army of Sao Ren? Knowing full well that Zhu Chu is going to be right behind them. Bear in mind what we have been able to do so far. We have been able to weaken his crossbow core. We have been able to do at least a little bit of damage to his front line. It's not much, but it's something. I, meanwhile, have got some good stuff here. My champion has a great big weapon. You have... You've got nothing, to be honest, unfortunately. I mean, I could have given that to you as well, but it didn't really matter one way or the other. Ah, yes, and we picked up the artisan for plus four expertise. That's nice. Okay, we'll get back to that in a second. Gongsun Zan, you are worrying me. Why are all your forces right here? Me and you, we had ourselves a deal, right? We've got ourselves a non-aggression pact. Actually, I don't know if we do. We've got ourselves military access. But yeah, when you've got military access, you're not allowed to ask for a non-aggression pact. So I thought a non-aggression pact was built in to military access. It was like the step above, but... I don't know any chance we could get. No, why don't you want this guy inside our alliance? Bloody hell. Well, he wouldn't want it either, to be honest. So, okay, nobody wants in the alliance. It's fine. Please don't attack me. Go and attack these territories over here. That would make so much more sense. Hang on, sorry. It's three armies of Gonsun Zhang, but one of them is already on the river sailing away. I assume he's just naffing off to the west to go and wage war on... All of these bastards. I mean, I suppose. Uh, I don't know what the hell else he's doing, so I really hope so. Well, the army of the administrators is right here, because yes, indeed, all three of these people are administrators. But when the times call for it, they're ready to help out too. Guys, uh, get in there. It's time to take a bit of land off Yan Shao. Yeah, shouldn't be anything too major here, to be honest. Just a case of archers tearing apart the G Militia and the Spearmen on the front line. Uh, meanwhile, as I've got no cavalry present, Yaji, the Champion and the Sentinel are doing a very good job taking care of all of that business. There we go. Straight in. A little bit of money. Obviously, we're occupying this place. And we're slowly, 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 slowly starting to wear down Yan Shao's food infrastructure right here. And in a perfect world, I would like to, yes, try and bait forward... Uh, this army right here, this is probably one of their weakest armies right now. So, actually, thinking about it, you guys, uh, Sun Shao, you could actually have yourself. Yeah, how do you feel about having a much better quality sword? I think you deserve it, damn it. You've done a good job so far. You've been very good indeed. Also, Kong Rong has now captured so many officers, he's become perceptive, even more cunning, bit of instinct, but that doesn't really matter, together with, yeah, more likely to capture even more officers, plus 10% line of sight. Very, very good indeed. Oh, and Sai Yan and Sun Shao are now friends, that's lovely. Ah, yes, and I suppose Jai Heng could also have, yeah, the artisan. Why not? You can have that. Now, should I actually give better quality weapons to Jai Heng? Because uh, he is kind of, you know, potentially attacking the flipping capital of Yun Shao momentarily. So uh, that feels like the sort of thing you want to actually bring, like, you know, a nice big spear to. You see, right now, what is Kong Rong's army really going to be getting on with? Probably not actually too much. But then again, this army's not doing too much right now. You've got, yeah, the Great Glaive. It's not great, but it's better than nothing. You know what? 
I'm going to move you over to, uh, yeah, just something else. Just something a bit more on the standard side. Yeah, you can actually have yourself just like a common glaive. That's absolutely fine. You have that, and that means next turn, you can actually have the, hang on, the... Do you not have the Great Glaive? I thought you could have the Great Glaive. Ah, will be available next turn. Lovely. I could also take this moment to make some changes to his army. Because right now, yeah, he's got some fairly basic stuff here, to be honest. I could probably do with some proper, yeah, medium spears. Let's get some proper medium spears in. So we're going to get you swapped for that. You're also going to be swapped for that. Lovely. G militia are good, though. We don't want to get rid of all of them. So that's all absolutely fine. We'll spend a bit of money there. So those guys are going to, yeah, basically grow to full strength again next turn. So now we've got some proper spears with shields in the army. Lovely. Together with all these beautiful axe bands. And we could have some proper nice medium sword infantry here as well. I mean, honestly, we've got enough archers on Sai Yan's forces. Yeah, you know what? Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. But then again... We also need some cav, as we just discovered. Yeah, we don't actually have any, you know, cavalry in this army, which is a bit of a concern. So, uh, how about, yeah, just some basic mounted saber militia over there, replacing those guys. It's a bit on the expensive side, but I feel like, yeah, having no cavalry whatsoever in this army is... Uh, that's dangerous. That's dangerous right there. So that, though it's a bit on the expensive side, means, yeah... They'll be ready pretty much next turn, I believe. Yeah, they'll be absolutely fine. And now that army will be much flipping stronger. Ah, yes, one more as well. Finally remember to take this guy out of that mode. I need you to start moving in this direction. All right, perfect world. Oh, hang on. Where are you? No, you can't quite get to me right yet. Right now, I think me and Yan Shu are in a bit of a race to get to Luo Yang. Oh, flipping Lu Bu's back as well. I think Lu Bu probably wants it. Right, Lu Bu could get there over this next turn. Lu Bu might be about to take back Luo Yang. And he's already got the port up there. So Dong Min is expanding, damn it. And that's fine. Me and Dong Min aren't exactly friends, but we're not at war. And he's not about to get himself vassalized by Yun Shao. So given everyone else in the world is, quite frankly, I consider this all positive. Also, decided after his life or death banassery, Shi Yi gets to just chill out and do a bit of educating peasants over in Tai Shan for a bit. Because, uh, you know what? He flipping deserves a chance to just chill out for a bit. I think he's had enough action for one day. But here's the big one, of course. Sao Sao's army. If we could, in theory, knock out these two forces right now... Uh, that would be a huge, huge win for us and basically mean if we don't take too many casualties, uh, the door will be open to Sao Sao's capital. We can just pretty much walk straight in. But to make that happen, oh bloody hell. How do I want to do this? Whichever one of these guys I attack, the other one will... Oh, hello. Hang on. If I attack from here, I get assistance from... Oh, right. Well... I get reinforcements on that occasion. Now that, that I think I can deal with. Because the reinforcements here are not nothing. That's a big old pile of cavalry and some good assault infantry too. That's good stuff. That's really helpful. Right. This guy will come in to reinforce, but it kind of doesn't matter. And in some ways, the fact it's winter works to my advantage. Because in winter, they can't walk so fast. And I've got the ranged advantage. Okay. We're going to do this. We're going to make this work. Right. Go forward. Oh, this is perfect. He knew he was at a massive disadvantage there. He had no choice but to retreat. And that means he's now separated out from his friends. You aren't possibly strong enough to take the toolmaker. I don't believe you are. And that means now it's one on flipping one in the middle of the open plains. Right, guys. We need to make this flipping happen. It's time to defeat the mightiest man in the cocking world. Possibly excluding Lupu. Right, the second mightiest man in the cocking world. Now we know what we're doing here. He's got some crossbows, but they're weakened. They must be eliminated. But we just want to hold back and hit him with the trebuchet as much as we can. And we really don't want to duel, but Yu Rang does have an amazing weapon at this point. Not as amazing as his hammer. In fact, I'd like to get that hammer off him. Though sadly, I've only got an 11% chance to capture. But if I were to just kill him, I think I'd get it anyway. Right, guys. I think we can make this work. He's got all. He's got a lot of units with shields, actually. Quite a lot of units with shields. 
Yeah, we're going to have to be a bit on the careful side here. Our ranged units aren't quite as effective as I'd like. So, uh, make sure our vanguard's getting mixed up in all of that. I think we can do this, but it's going to be tough. Okay, we're the attackers here, but the thing is, uh, they kind of need to attack us anyway, because uh, with the trebuchets, I can just slowly creep forward and annihilate them if they don't. So, as a result of that, yeah, just keep the catapults at the rear, have them fire at will. If they march to us, we just slowly start murdering them. If they don't, we just creep forward until we're in trebuchet range. So, uh, that's all absolutely fine. Take the actual horses. Uh, do I want all the horses, or just... Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these horses and I'm just going to put them over here. Actually, this is risky because it's going to be difficult for them to move in the snow. But if they're over here, then once battle's joined, they can just basically smash into the rear. It's probably for the better. And yeah, the actual guys who are the actual archer killers, uh, you get over here. Both of you get yourselves hidden, please. This should, hopefully, just about work and... Uh, I'm not sure I want either of you exposed, to be honest. I'm a little bit concerned here. Get the spears out on the flanks, please. All right, guys. Let's flip and make this happen. And are they going to start walking at me? Because I suspect they are. Because uh, what else are they going to do? Yes, they are going to start moving forward. This all works for me. Just keep my troops nice and out of the way until it's time for them to pounce. Slight problem, though. The way this cavalry is going right now... No, good. They've just changed direction. Good, 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 good. I was worried they were going to go straight into my lancers. We need to... Yeah, watch out for you. You're the guy I'm worried about. Captain Hammer over here with this massive, cocky, spiky thing. You're going to be trouble, aren't you? Yes, yes, you are. Now, right now we are... Ooh. Yeah, trebuchet range. I like trebuchet range. Trebuchet range is great. Prepare to open fire as soon as they cross that line. Ooh, Zuchu is ballsy as anything. He's happy to stand inside trebuchet range, you ballsy bastard. Right, troops are moving up to the line uh, before they actually cross over. We can win this, but I need to do it without taking excessively large numbers of casualties. Otherwise, we're going to be in trouble when it comes to assaulting South South's capital. Right, Trebuchet starts coming in, uh, doing a couple of light hits there. Yeah, focus on these guys. They're right in the middle. Generals are moving forward at the front for the time being. It's going to take these guys time uh, to actually move. So my... Oh! Ho -ho! Yeah, my Trebuchets have got all the time in the world uh, to line up some shots. Go for this guy. He's right in the flipping middle. Because just look at how slow they are right now. I just wish we had the flaming balls, but sadly, we do not. But it doesn't matter. At this point, we can just basically keep tossing these balls at them forever. This is doing catastrophically huge amounts of damage. I love it. There's just piles of corpses being left in the snow as every boulder hits. This is great. This is just great. We're not even in range of the crossbows yet. Hang on, crossbows and archers. Ah, I think we're just about moving into range of those momentarily. Good. And you want to fight? No! No, I've decided not. We're not doing that, actually. That's that's not going to be a thing. Uh, change your fire over to... Yeah, here, if you'd be so kind. Let's take on some of these guys. Is it time for the crossbows yet? I don't know whether it's time for us to expose ourselves. I mean... Uh, these guys are way back over here. Yeah, you know what? You guys start moving in that direction. Because at this point, if we start exposing ourselves, uh, they'll panic and not know what to do. So, yeah, at this point, they're going to start... Yep, they're moving around. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not flipping doing it because I'm not insane. Deploy the cavalry. Let's start whacking these guys right the side. Hey, by the way, I've got cavalry behind your lines, you stupid bastards. So have fun with that. Uh, so yeah, some of their spearmen are going to try and turn around at this point. Uh, just get over here. We're just going to start going for all of this. Are we picking good targets right now? Looks to me like we are for the most part. I just need to be a little bit careful. Right, keep these guys here. Just, yeah, keep them exactly where they are. Guard the flanks as best you can. These guys are now going to hit these guys. You guys are going to run over here. And then, as soon as you're done with that, the Lancers can actually turn their attention to the front line. Because these guys can actually pick up this business. You get over here. Hit these guys, please. Just chase them off. Still not doing it. Not going to do it. And you can't make me. Right, you guys get over here. You guys 
get over here. Uh, and at this point, we're ready to start moving forward. But huge amounts of fire are being laid down now. This is good. This is good. This is good. Uh, you guys turn over here. You guys turn over there. They're so slow in the snow. I love it. They're just struggling to even get up to the line. Uh, yeah, this all works for me. This is all looking good so far. You guys just get over there. Just hit these guys. You guys uh, get over there if you'd be so kind. Uh, and our general needs our aid. Hang on, which general? Which general and who's attacking him? Because if this guy just pushes straight through, that's going to be a problem. Also, that guy knows earth-shattering strike. Because of course he does. Trebuchets, turn your attention over to here. If you'd be so kind. There's some nice spears you can focus on. There are still some cavalry floating around, but... For the most part, they're not really contributing yet. There's some troops stuck back here. That works for me. In fact, actually, you know what? Do I want to go for... Yeah, uh, trebuchets. Go for this group over here, in fact. That works for me. Cavalry is now stuck at the back. The front line is looking uh, flimsy. This guy is dangerous. Like, hugely dangerous. Like, I don't even know how we kill him. Um, probably mainly by just actually using my vanguard to, yeah, break their line. So, uh, you uh, get over here... Break these guys if you'd be so kind. I need them to fall apart sooner rather than later. And then, yeah, get over here. You can start wrapping up the line, all right? You're a vanguard. It's your job. Where's their cavalry, by the way? On this flank, there is no cavalry, so begin flanking them. You, get over here, and let's just have a roar of the beast on all of these guys. So just start knocking them down, please. Start knocking them down. Those guys are shattered. Uh, where are my cavalry right now? My cavalry at the rear... Uh, you guys, get over here, start charging in. Melee cavalry, you can stay in the melee, I don't care. But lancers, I need you to get back over here and hit these guys. And uh, we're starting to have trouble. You guys just focus on this. You guys get over here and stop these guys doing anything, please. Their champion is just causing problems. Okay, you just go and hit him for a bit. Watch you Rang's health. He can't do this forever. But in come the Lancers right up the arse. And that's going to do some bad stuff to you. I don't care if you're spear guards. You're facing the wrong way. You're not going to enjoy that. Right, you guys. Get out of there, please. Watch you Rang's health. You Rang is already taking tons of damage. But this guy is taking tons of damage too. All right, get out of there now. Get out of there. I don't need to do anything else of that nature. You... You can't do another debuff just yet. You guys get over here. Hit these guys. We are at the bare minimum. Starting to just wear this guy down at least a little bit. You guys aren't doing so hot. There's spears everywhere. Pull out. Pull out. Pull out. Get over here. Hit these guys. There's still some cav, but I've got archers. Just focus on what we've got here. No, we're out of everything at this point. Fire and fire some more. Just take out those guys, please. What the hell are you guys doing? I don't know why you're over there. But let's just actually break these here swords. Uh, they can't be happy about life. Especially when horses are going up the arse. No, they are not. Right, okay, you guys. Turn your attention over to Zuchu, please. I need Zuchu uh, to just be slowly worn down. I know he's a bit on the tough side. Sorry about that. Not much I can do about it. You guys, get over here. Those guys, broken. Over here, nothing much. You guys flank them. What else have we got? We've got some horses versus horses over here. Bit of a waste, but it looks to me like we're winning that one, so screw it, whatever. We've also got some more horses over here. I assume you guys have finished off your target. So, probably best you actually, you know, come and get involved in the battle, please. And, uh, how are you guys doing? You've not got anything good, have you? No, you've got, like, nothing. Right, you... Uh, do you want... No, you do not want a duel, but... Go and hit him some more. You rang. This one's on you. Get in there and just hit him with your Imperial G thing. Just get in there. Smash him in the face, please. Just seriously, watch your rank south. Yeah, there you go. You don't like that, do ya? Just get around there. Everybody keep him busy. Just keep him occupied while we just hit him a bit. He's down to... What's he got left? Not much. He's he's starting to struggle. Come on, just keep cycling. Just keep cycling here. And as for you, get over there. Hit these guys. No, they're broken. You chase down the strategist. If the rest of the army breaks, he's more likely to break. And you're down to 20,000. And going down. Come on, just keep hitting him. I believe in you. But you rang is... You rang's taking huge damage too. This is ridiculous. Um... I could actually... Oh, I could slow him down a bit. That might be nice, but... Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. You guys chase down him. You guys chase down... Oh, bloody hell. There's more 
spears getting on top of my actual bloody cavalry. Right, you guys, uh, yeah, just chase down this. You guys just naff off. Get over here. You guys just fight there. That's all fine. The front line is as it should be. You guys just go and basically hunt down these guys if you can. Can you do anything to this guy? Probably not, to be honest. Right, everybody else... Just get on top of this guy. You guys get out of there. You're too valuable to fight flipping Zhu Chu. He's going to annihilate you. Just get on top of him. He's starting to... Oh, he's starting to waver. I think we got him. Okay, he's broken. Um, Don't let him go. Do not let him go. Everybody. I want all fire on Zhu Chu. All right, literally everybody who's not dead, hunt down Zhu Chu. I do not want to fight him again. Bloody hell no. Right, you stupid bastard. I'll be having that hammer off you now. Yeah, somebody give him a damn good stabbing. Oh, he's down to 5,000 health now. Oh, 2,900. Oh, I think we've almost got him. Somebody stab him. Just stab him. Stab him in the back. Come on, Lancers. You're faster than him. Oh, he's gone. I think I'll be having that hammer. Thank you. Lovely. I better get the damn hammer. I will be really furious if it's not hammer time right now. He got like 500 kills, but I don't care. It's over now. Yeah, he's gone. He might not be dead, but he's wounded. You want to join my side potentially, do you? Perceptive. Actively disloyal. Yeah, I can tell. Uh, no, I'm just going to sell you for money, actually, because you weren't much use. And, uh, okay. Captured troops. No, take the replenishment. I took some knocks, not much, but a bit, and uh, that army has been destroyed. Beautiful. Also, apparently we just, like, found someone really talented, so we just recruited them. Okay, who are they? Because I might want to get rid of them. Right, it was this guy. He's, uh, it's not bad, actually. That's, wow, okay, for a level one, that's not bad at all. Unbreakable, elusive, perceptive. Those are some good traits, I'm not going to deny. That's good stuff. Now, Sal Ren, I can't get to you just yet, but... Also, hang on. Rare talent, killed in battle, friends. Oh, do I not get the hammer? No, I think I've not got the hammer. Boo! Boo, I say. Maybe I get it next turn. If I'm really lucky, maybe I get the hammer next turn. Possibly because he escaped wounded, and he wasn't actually captured and executed. I'm not allowed to have the hammer. And spend that money on making more and more money, please. Just more money coming in as fast as you flippin' like. Food's under control for the time being. Yeah, Tao Ying has been eliminated. Uh, now we can get some revenge because you, you have annoyed me. Leo Yao, I'm going to wipe you off the face of the cocking earth. But more importantly, yes, we need to figure out what the hell Yan Xiao and Lu Bu are doing next. Because, uh, those are the big things. Gonsun Zan is... Okay, he's also going onto the river. He's not causing trouble. Wherever the hell he's going, he's just going off for an adventure to the west somewhere. Doesn't seem to bother me. Yan Xiao, that's the big one. So Yan Xiao himself has come ashore and is now fortifying Liu Yang. You've decided to naff off down the river. Right, so Sun Ren is basically fleeing. And Yan Shu is sending a whole lot of territory north. Oh no... I feel like my vassal is about to be absolutely annihilated. Okay, I might be able to save her. We'll have to... Did you just sally forth and then lose really badly? Because I feel like you did. Also, someone I've never heard of just attacked this guy over here. So that works for me. Should make Liu Bei's life a bit easier. Right, I need to save my vassal, I think. Because you... Yeah, otherwise you're going to take the city back. Okay, Zhang Yan. This war's been going on for a very long time, and I've got a big pile of food, and you're poor in that regard. How about we have ourselves... Oh yeah, this won't even take that much to arrange. For eight food a turn, he can be made to naff off. Right, good, we're gonna be doing that then. Go away, leave my vassal alone. Beautiful. So as a result of that, she doesn't lose this territory. And fascinatingly, we've had no move whatsoever from this person. Which means Yan Xiao's capital, a level 7 city, is just wide open. Intriguing. Oh, here we go. No, I got an iron sickle. That's very disappointing. That's, yeah, that's quite disappointing, relatively speaking. I didn't want an iron bloody sickle. All right, that's not what I wanted out of life right now. Still, I think we see where this is all going, ladies and gentlemen. We've got ourselves, yeah, an assault 
on Yan Shao's capital, a settlement which, if sacked, would yield 10,000 gold. Imagine what I could do with 10,000 gold. Oh, good things. Very, very good things indeed. Oh, yeah, and Kong Rong's also free these days. So, uh, Liu Yao, you are going to regret messing with me and wounding Shi Yi. All right, you are going to be made to flipping suffer for that. And also, everything's just turning into a mess at the north of the Central Plains here. Yan Shao does not want to lose the formal imperial capital of Luo Yang, but me and Yan Shu both want to take it. The question is, uh, who's going to flipping do it? Because, oh, this is... This is turning into a mess right here. This is turning into quite the flipping mess. Still, lots of big stuff to come, ladies and gentlemen. We've got some big city sieges coming up next time, and that'll be very, very soon indeed. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nut. This has been Total War Three Kingdoms. Thank you very much, and goodbye. This, this guy's enjoying that. This guy's enjoying his elephant a bit too much. In Fair Verona, we set our scene. Oh my god, Becky, look at her butt. It is so big. They've managed to glitch inside one of the buildings. Elephants in the rear! And then oh, in come the chariots! Yeah.